that's it up. Victoria to order darkness. The Indian Let's Play. So we're back here in this Let's Play of Awesomeness. Where we're basically trying to fight off as many... <laughs> We're just trying to make sure that, that the British know who the bosses are. And we're just basically taking over all their colonies. And proving to them, once and for all, that they really, really should know that we rock. <laughs> the, the, there's like no other way I can put it. We rock. We are the dominant people here. We are... You... The... the they... The British are no longer the kings of the seven oceans. We will soon be able to claim that title and dethrone them. I mean, we're going to gain so much prestige from this war. I mean, it's going to be ridiculous. And now that most of our armies are modernized, they will not have a chance against us. I guarantee. This is they, It's the end. It's the end of the British dominance. Over here. I want to go conquer that. I have to wait till my soldiers were to be healed up anyways. Hmm. They're now just starting to do some kind of offensives. Should I try... You know, I'll go try, I'll go try to deal with that. Alright, you guys, go out. We're actually going to go try to fight, we're actually going to go see what would happen if we go fight a modern day British army with a modern day one of our armies. So you know what, I'm actually curious to see who would actually win. Because now that we're modernized, I mean, I, the, the world is our oyster, basically, if I must say it bluntly, the world is our oyster. Alright, you guys go over here. We're gonna reconquest all of this. We're keeping we're keeping the British down. That's all we're doing right now. We're keeping them down and out for the count. Which is what we need to do. Alright, you guys go right there. Right, quickly, quickly, quickly before I see steamers. Steamers would be a very bad thing at this point. And if they were to attack us right now, I don't know. I don't know if we'd have enough to, def to defend ourselves. Right now I'm gaining more defensive occupation things. Yeah, I'm just... <laughs> oh, I love that defensive occupation things. They're, they're helping me out so much. I'm going to move over here to just... Just because I want to give us more bonus. Alright, let's go back over here, actually. That'll give us the most points. Ah, communists. The communists are now starting to become the major factor because this is the age of the communist. Alright, let's get this. Let's get this. Everyone basically go hunt down rebels. When you guys see a rebel, go hunt them down. We don't need rebels in our country. Because are you a rebel? Alright. Yeah, it shouldn't... With the armies that actually know how to fight, it shouldn't be that hard for them to win. Okay? So yeah, we're gonna get that dealt with. I mean, I don't even have any, like... Yeah, we're just, like, gaining nothing from this, but it's kind of funny that we just keep... Oh, man. We're, we're applying the pressure now. British, are you guys stupid enough to attack me? No. Once I get strong enough, once my men are strong enough, I'm gonna go test... Okay, now we're strong enough. Let's go test to see how good my army is. With how good of an attack commander are you? You're pretty good. Um, let's see. Well, basically, his defense will counteract that. He has 18,000 troops and about 3,000... Because the first one's cavalry, about 3,000 cannons. I should be able to win this, hands down. There should be not much trouble with that battle. Oh my goodness, we're, we're about to... If I do have to fight... Oh man. Yeah, these rebels are really starting to become an issue. <laughs> like, flatly put, these guys need to be dead. Um, I'm, le I'm going to be lessening taxes. Don't worry, people. I'll be lessening taxes once the war is over with. We're going to test to see if our armies can actually fight against a modern-day British army. Okay. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, we're not losing massively, but we're not winning massively. So it's kind of like a two-fold. Well, we're hitting about the same modifiers as they are. Yes, we should be able to beat them. <laughs> okay, so now everyone, this is the time. This is when we are even with the British. Now we are no longer... We are no longer what we used to be, guys. We are now even. That means every time we battle from now on, the British are going to have to send exactly the same amount of troops to defeat me. Because now we are even. There was no way they could get the advantage over me anymore. Ah! Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, Basically, what happened was that my mom came in and gave me a tight, a little scare. Um, 
little to say the least, I sound, I just basically freaked out, almost like threw my entire mouse off the face of the planet, but, yeah, uh, that's what happened. It wasn't like some evil monster or the British had somehow, in virtual game, came out and tried to attack me, no. It's just, yeah, my mom kind of, my mom just kind of like shocked me, came up from behind me, and just, yeah. So right now, we're just, right now kicking the butt of the British, that's, that's just basically what we're doing. There, there really is nothing else to really say. That battle is really, well, it shouldn't even really matter anymore, because right now, we're, we're now, now since we're basically even, I don't even care about population anymore, we have enough. I had to make my population survive until this point, and we have enough now. And right now, we're apparently like getting lots of troops in some region, so I'm going to have to see which region. Something said about 7,000 people were unemployed. 15,000 unemployed in South Bengal. 15,000 in South Bengal. Oh, oh, I see, I see now. Okay, yeah, yeah, I get that, I get that. That makes sense. Um, I was like, wait, what? Why are the 15,000 people unemployed? Well, that's because I haven't even filled up my factories yet. That should actually go down. Um. Right here, okay, I sh I'm actually doing a national modifier to one of these regions. I want to consume a good from these guys. Okay, this is the region that they're talking about, so I have to see. What would they be good at? Tobacco. So you have to build base industry, so let's see. Tobacco, we don't need anything else. So this is, this would be good for a cannery, I guess. Really, I, I really should look up what uses cigarettes. I mean, um, not cigarettes, tobacco. Because I've honestly never looked up before what the heck tobacco is used for. Oh, yeah, let's look that up in the National Modifier. Okay, tobacco. Tobacco, 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 tobacco. Where the heck is tobacco? There's tobacco. Let's see. Used by... Okay, so it's tobacco is basically just a luxurious good. So basically this place is not useful because I know you can't actually use this for anything. The only thing that could be useful is the wheat. Hmm. Could build this for a cannery if I really had to. Do I want to though? Probably not. Um, let's see. What about fertilizer? Oh, we need sulfide. Ah, uh, my one weakness is that we need sulfide. Daily outputs. I have to start managing... Okay, so daily outputs to daily inputs. Hmm. We can definitely keep keep making more fabric factories because we have so much. Um, a glass. This actually might be effective once we build the glass factory. Start building that distilled factory. Because then we have a good economy right there. Then the rest of these places I'm not really worrying about. We don't really need them yet. I'm still just getting to the point where I'm out of this war. I mean, I'm, I've been in this war for five years and we still haven't finished it up. I was kind of hoping by now the British would have, would have, like, annexed one of these other little states so I could just go in and kill them, but nope. They're making sure that I stay as belligerent as ever, but I'm just taking down all the philosophy things, and then once I do that, then... Ah, uh, dang it. If we win that battle, I will be shocked. No. A line broke. We're gonna have to retreat. For once. Which hopefully they won't give chase. They don't give chase. Good. We're going to have to heal our men just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because they're all a little bit weak. I mean, we were fighting these guys in bad terrain. But they should be able to heal up pretty quickly. Because we have a, a big, big man pool. Oh my goodness. Alright, and the British. Still not necessarily winning at all. In fact, the man Madras. That, that thing is really going to affect them now. Because I am just... I'm winning. I'm just being a pulp out of them. They're not even, like, providing a challenge to me. Which is sad. It's ours. What are you talking about? It's ours. Now I know, I'm just, I'm kind of worried about that event now. Because if that, if that keeps happening, then, oh my goodness, these guys are going to try to revolt against me. It's going to, wait, is there any other place that's trying to do, okay, never mind, never mind. Okay, so, Afghanistan has a much bigger chance of revolting than me. That's good. That's definitely good. Because I need that. Okay. No. Are you kidding me? I beat you guys. We're not getting white piece. 
Alright, well, let me go take over another one of these armies from over here in our mainland. Alright, we have a little bit of trouble with this new army. Oh, shoot, I have to also start upgrading my cavalry. Uh, so many things I have to do. I'm gonna go send both of these armies to go take down that army. Um, that should take a little bit of time before the British. No. You guys have to accept a full and equal surrender. I beat you. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I beat you this time. And I know I'm probably not gonna be able to conquer you guys again. Because you're probably gonna like... That, what I'm thinking, guys, is that the British will probably be able to... Due to now, they'll probably have mustard gas here soon. They're probably gonna be able to beat me. So unless they give me a full and, unequal, and unethical surrender, I'm not giving them anything. Because you know what? They deserve this. Alright, let's get this right here. Should probably turn these guys off of... Can't really do that. Well, I'm just gonna engage them all. I don't think Siam has an alliance with them. So we should be able to just mosh them up with just as many troops as we can. This guy is pretty good still, but yeah. Okay, we should be able to just mosh them up. There we go. Just, we're, we're just, we're just smoshing them right now. There is just no way to other describe it. We're just smoshing them. Okay, and now we're losing lots of men in the process. I won't deny that, but we're not losing as many men if we were uncivilized. Like, we're actually gaining good modifiers from this. And now we just send the actual good troops up here. The bad troops stay down here. We conquest all this land. And... Is that what I think it... No. You guys are still stubborn. I'm not going to give you guys what you guys want because you guys won't give me what I want. Which is I want your total and unequal surrender. That way everyone in the world knows that you were beaten by India. Or the future to be great power of the world. And I can stay in this for as long as I want to, India. I mean British. You really don't know me. I could stay in this for as long as I want. Okay, we're going to use this opportunity to go take down these guys. And then we're going to go back to conquering that island over there called... Let's see, how are you guys doing? Okay, you lost most of your army, so I'm gonna go send you guys back to once. I could just siphon out actually some of these troops. So I was gonna disband this army, but it's actually just smart if I just siphon off of these troops. You guys go there, and then you guys stay here and just, yeah, be a cavalry self. Make sure we don't have a good general on you guys. And he's an okay general, so I don't have to move him. Well, they really want this white piece. I'm really not going to give it to them. I'm not going to give them white peace. Because then they, cause then I admit that they were equal to me. Which is completely asinine in itself. They were not equal. I beat them pretty badly. Like, pretty dang badly. This is a pretty bad rule for you guys. You guys have not been able to do much. And they don't even see us coming. Wow. That army, dead. Dead. And this army going to be combining with that army. I'm going to go take both of these guys and we're both going to take both these armies and going to go conquer all of Sumatra. Shouldn't be that hard. And apparently there were some things going on with the United States I wasn't really paying attention. Should probably, after this, after this I'm just going to take a good long look at the map. But before this I'm just going to do as much as I can. Oh my goodness. Yeah, now they should be just feeling so bad about themselves. They do not have much army. The power over here is just completely diminished. Yeah, I, I could stay at this war for a long time, British. You don't even know. You don't even know. I have the economy to last now. I have... <laughs> yeah, basically, guys, I could stay in this war for as long as I want. I don't even need to declare peace anymore. Like, before, maybe I did, but now I don't. And now I got my men back up to standards. You guys can be deleted. I don't need you. Okay, let's go over here to this island, conquer this island, and now we basically own the entire Indian, basically all of India is underneath, all of this region is underneath our control. There won't be very much that they will have. I mean, now the, Brit the British must be pretty mad at themselves for letting the situation get this far, and letting an uncivilized power become civilized, and then completely take it to them and destroy them. Oh my goodness, this is like feeling like just an epic moment for us. We are powerful, but yeah. I would kind of wish by now they would want to get out of this war. They would accept this offer? What? Oh my goodness! Yes! Oh yes! And just when I was about to land my troops. Okay, 
Yes! Yes! Oh man, look at that. Look at that, everyone. We now... Oh my goodness. We have now started to not only industrialize, but we are now... A... We are a great power! That's what is now. Um... Don't need my education at high anymore, like I said, because we don't really need it. Uh, still need my taxes at high, because I still need that. Um, but yeah, we can stop bringing our troops back home, and we did it, everyone. We did it. We have now... Oh, and just listen to that factory sound building. It sounds so epic. It sounds like the most epic thing in the world, and right now those guys are going to be creating more. We're going to have a good industry going, I mean... Yeah, look at that. I don't even have to be, like, actually subsidizing any of this. We're actually building a semi-efficient economy. This should actually be doing good, though. I don't know why we are not building... Oh, war exhaustion, that's why. War exhaustion is affecting it. It isn't actually because the factory is bad, which demand... Current stockpile demand... I was about to say, owners, capitalist... I guess... Ca oh, capitalists actually give us a bonus, though, but... Everything's green to me. I don't know why that thing is going negative. Just I'll give it a second because it is. It was just recently built, so yeah. You see, now it's now it's starting to go positive. Seriously positive. I was like, dang, how is that not going positive? That's like perfect. All right, let's go pick up this army before it dies. And <laughs> we did it, everyone. We're now starting to become an industrialized power. Uh, and almost just in time for when electricity is about to become popular. So that means when electricity comes, we're going to have one of the best on economies in the world. Oh my goodness. There is just so much, everyone. Just so much. Alright, you guys go in here. Oh my goodness. This is, this is unbelievable. This is like surreal. This is like the powerful India I was trying to make in my Punjab Let's Play, but this is like that times 10 times steroids. Yeah. Times steroids, everyone. Times 10 times steroids. That's how powerful this is. This is just so real. And how are we doing in administration efficiency? Not doing very well. Probably figured. But I'm not gonna... There's not really, really else I really have to... Much I have to do. Um, could try to do a... Encourage event. But that's not really gonna work. I'm gonna have to wait. Let's see. Is anyone at war right now? No. No one's at war. But how much am I beating... The other great powers by how much am I beating Belgium? That's uh, that's what I want to ask. Sorry guys, how much am I beating Belgium by? Because I want to make sure that I'm not like 324. Yeah, I'm definitely beating them, and I'm almost no Spain's like a hundred away from me. Not necessarily the best, but just building up my economy should be able to get that number down. And I have these new soldiers right here. Probably just combine these guys. And wow. Just wow, alright. Combine these guys. Five 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 three five. That's that's an okay army. It's not the best composition ever, but it's good enough. Oh my goodness. That look at that. And then now my in my name has now switched over here. I mean we have all these major regions of ours. The British are now just out. Like they are out of this region. So if I really want to, I could go on a massive conquest spree against all these little nations what would actually be more effective I think is to actually just individually once I get to a great powerness individually sphere them hmm oh I so want to go to war with Burma <laughs> it's like been my secret passion this entire game but I can't do it but anyways guys this was a good enough episode the war is finally over with we finally gained more of our provinces and we're just generally looking very well. I mean, now we have a lot of the internal regions, and it, it, this is all looking great. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.